Parents usually do whatever they can for their children, regardless of the circumstances. Every child should have this privilege, but sadly, not all do. Some of us were raised in survival mode. What does that mean? Well, it's when you're constantly dealing with challenging emotions growing up, like stress and anxiety, usually because of toxic situations at home or in your life. You end up spending a lot of time trying to handle these feelings, which makes it hard to learn important life skills in a healthy way. So, do you think you were raised with love or were you raised in survival mode? Let's look at the signs and find out. Number 1. Criticism Excessive criticism is a sign of a loveless childhood that almost everyone has felt like they've encountered. If you have siblings, you've probably felt like you've been treated worse and criticized more than them. Often, we mistake excessive criticism as tough love. So, how do we know the difference? If you feel like nothing you do will ever be good enough for your parents, you might not have received enough praise or at least acknowledgement for your effort and successes. If you have received more praise from your friends or their parents, that could be a hint that something is missing in your family dynamic. If it always felt like your parents would come down hard on you for anything you did, even if you thought you did the right thing, it's possible you were raised in survival mode. Excessive criticism in childhood can lead you to always expect to be criticized, causing anticipatory anxiety. This can also cause you to excessively self-criticize, but that is only one aspect. Sometimes parents are just strict or have negative attitudes. Number 2. Physical Touch Imagine yourself giving your parents a big hug. How does that hug feel? Is it warm and inviting? Or is it kind of scary? Maybe even new and unfamiliar? Does it feel like they're going to push you away any second? If you were raised in survival mode, it was likely that your parents disciplined you physically often and for the smallest things. It's possible that you got a little bit of comforting physical touch, but if you aren't used to it, it might have made you uncomfortable. Some parents are just physically colder. They might have tried to make up for it with words of affirmation, which can signal love and importance, but not in the same way. If your parents gave you neither, it is more likely that you were raised in survival mode. Number 3. Structure Memories are deceptive. You might remember the bad times more than the good. So let's look at something less subjective. Was your family well structured? Were both of your parents present? If not, did you have people taking care of you consistently? If your parents were divorced, you might have grown up with strangers coming into your life, into your home, and then disappearing. That doesn't help to make a child feel safe and secure. Households with a lot of parental conflict are just as damaging as households with inconsistent caregivers. The issue isn't only having one parent or caregiver. It's the inconsistency, the confusion, the conflict, and the unpredictability that is difficult on a child's upbringing. A single parent household can have a lot of love, but for some, it has been partly responsible for a difficult childhood. Being raised in survival mode means you are just trying to make it through the day every day. The future is uncertain. This is especially true for the next two points. Number four, emotional neglect. When we think of neglect, we often think of physical neglect, like not having enough food or shelter. But did you know that emotional neglect can be just as harmful? Neglect comes in many forms, not just the visible ones. It can mean being left in harmful situations, such as witnessing domestic violence or substance abuse in the household, or not getting the emotional support you need from parents, like not receiving affection, validation, or guidance. These experiences can leave deep emotional scars affecting your sense of safety, self-worth, and ability to form healthy relationships, which causes you to live in survival mode. Sometimes it's not intentional, but it could still leave lasting effects on your mental well-being. Number 5. Abuse You are supposed to be loved unconditionally by your parents. Your parents may get upset with you, they may raise their voice from time to time, but abuse is different. No one is supposed to live in perpetual fear of their parents. Studies have found that the most common long-term effects of emotional abuse victims are depression and self-destructive behavior, anxiety, feelings of isolation and stigma, poor self-esteem, difficulty in trusting others, a tendency toward re-victimization, substance abuse, and so on. 
If you were regularly abused in your childhood, whether it be sexual, physical, emotional or verbal, it is extremely likely that you were raised in survival mode and that that has stuck with you and affected you long after. If you were raised in survival mode, it's possible that you don't like relying on other people. If you have the means, seeing a therapist about how you were raised could provide you with some answers and catharsis. Your childhood may have left you with anxiety or PTSD, which are conditions that only a professional can diagnose. If you are ready to talk to someone, we wish you good luck and that it provides the help that you need. If you found this video informative or helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to Psych2Go for more videos just like this.